Hey everybody, welcome back to Stellaris. Uh, we'll jump back into it. Um, so at the moment, we're just waiting for fleets to build up. Because um, we are just going to go on a massive conquering spree, if possible. We'll see how it works out. It should be, I mean, at the moment, we're equivalent to a lot of these guys, but we're only at half of our naval capacity here, so I think we should be fine to go conquer a bunch of people. I know I should be building... Um... Oh, nice. That's expensive, but it's worth it. Because I'm lazy and I just would rather do that. Anyway, um, I know I should be building corvettes as well as destroyers, but honestly, I'm lazy. Um, I'm not going to bother trying to get like a good army composition. I think we're strong enough at this, at this point anyway where we can just stomp people. So I'll leave it just like that. Um, one thing I do want to talk about in this episode is a lot of the games I'm excited for. Um, we do have like max power. I'm going to get more tech. Here as well. Um, or even here as well. Lots of tech. Anyway, um, yeah, I'll, I want to talk about the games I'm really excited for. So last was one of them, um, but as you saw from my last video, um, our expectations were not quite met, which is fine. I mean, I wouldn't expect every game to, um, but there are a few games, about five or six, and I will talk about them a bit in this episode. Uh, first one. As I mentioned in the last video, it was Dawn of War, the Total War franchise. That should be really good. It looks like a gorgeous game. Um, one of the big qualms that I had originally about the Total War games was that um, it was sort of... It was boring and each, each bit, each aspect of the game was just sort of waiting for the next war or battle. Um, so that's what I found really boring about that. But it looks like they've added a lot of diplomacy things, especially we say like the vampire counts, for example, um, they can spread creep and do like a sort of espionage move like that. Um, there's quests for each of the heroes, which is like could change how you play. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I am excited. I could have sworn we surveyed all these planets around here. Uh, they must have had enemies or something in there. I, I could have sworn we surveyed them. Oh, I guess we just built that wormhole station there, so uh, scratch that. Out of range, out of range. Uh, you are in range, but we surveyed all this. No, okay, we can go survey that. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm really excited about that. It looks really interesting. It is a bit of a shame. Not a shame. I get Total War, they obviously mostly focus on um, just doing the... Um, what should we call it? The like sort of medieval types of games, which is fine. So you do lose a bit of the universe there um, with the space moons and the elders, um, which is kind of unfortunate. But I still think it would be a good game. Uh, when it comes out, I, I don't know who I'll play yet. I was thinking maybe actually playing as the Empire of Bretonia. They might not be the most interesting, but they look like a good challenge because a lot of people are focusing on um the chaos because they're the one of the biggest things about that expansion so um we'll have to see i mean just I, yeah i just have to see how it works out i'm a big fan of the 40k universe uh, i loved playing uh dark crusade and soulstorm also some of my favorite games a lot of fun many countless hours put into those um but a good thing to come out of that i would say is you, you, you're surveying that, okay. Um, <clears throat> I was saying how you do lose a bit of it without the Space Moons and the Elders, but Dawn of War 3 was... Um, the trailer has, is on Steam at the moment, and that is really getting my juices flowing. I'm super excited for that. Um, <clears throat> that, that, that... <clears throat> sorry, my voice has gone a bit hoarse here. No pun intended, that literally just has. Um, oh, you need to be surveyed as well. God, we've missed a lot of planets. I think you're surveying that. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, so super excited for that. Giants, man, like, holy crap, that's going to be awesome. Um, I love the universe. I was reading up about all the, the Tyranids and whatnot. And I'm super excited because I didn't get to play the Dawn of War 2, the, the squad-based game. Um, I heard it, it wasn't the best game. As a tiny planet, yep, 
so many small planets. Anyway, um, it was a co-op based game, and it wasn't good as the first one. I heard it wasn't bad, but I mean, I never just got around to playing it, so um, unfortunate with that. But um, that is absolutely fine. I would like to. How much more are you going to get? You're going to get two more. It's pretty good. Um, we can lose a lot of power for a while because of the fact that we are. What should we call it? You can be upgraded, but you need an upgrade available. Put us on if we get this, then we can upgrade it. That might have been in my single player game, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, so I'm super excited for that. Um, it, I mean, the trailer, <coughs> sorry, the trailer looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, but if, if I if I can say anything, don't let the trailers fool you. You gotta make sure. You gotta actually see when the game comes out. Um, so that's from that Hearts of Iron Four. I was I did enjoy Hearts of Iron Three, but because as I said in the last episode, the complexity of it and the just the UI and the design was so hard to understand. I never really got good in it, good at it. So as such, I didn't really get into it too much. So I'm really excited for Hearts of Iron Four. Um, from the streams and whatnot that Paradox do, it looks really good so far. Um, one thing I'm most excited about it is the naval combat because that's always been a really tough thing for Paradox to pull off in EU4. It's horrendous, especially if you're doing any kind of new world stuff. Um, you've got colonies and all of a sudden France will pop up you know, with their 50 strong fleet and you can't chase them at all. Stellaris, it's a real cat and mouse game with your naval, with all your navies. So. And it looks like they sort of tried to just simplify it a bit more, um, which is good. I, I'm really hoping that game turns out well because it's a game that I wanted to get into a, into for a while, but haven't been able to obviously because of the difficulty of Hearts of Iron Three. Um, what else? Gang Beast. That oh my god, it's um it's been out for a while, granted, but no multiplayer yet. I will put a link into it. Uh, put a link for it into. The description because it I some of you may have seen it some of you may have not um it's it's a fighting game I guess you'd put it as um but it's a very goofy cartoony kind of one you can pick people up and the maps are a lot of fun I'll put a link into it look it up if you have to the trailers describe the, the game well enough um to the point where you should understand why I'm excited for it um as I said it has been out for a while it's just that um, the online multiplayer hasn't been a feature, you needed LAN for that, which in this day and age isn't really enough. There's nothing wrong with LAN, but most people want online multiplayer. Um, so super excited for that. Um, what else? Battlefield 1 as well should be a lot of fun. Um, I know DICE and EA get a lot of flack um, about their their market design and their game design but i think they do fine uh as i said in the last video battlefront on release was pretty lackluster but as of right now it's a fantastic game it's really gorgeous and a lot of fun to play just because there's so much in it and it's chaotic but not so chaotic where you've got no idea going what's going on it's more to the point of it feels like a war zone and that's what i'm sort of hoping what they do with battlefield one um, I loved Battlefield Bad Company and Battlefield 3, they were really well done games. Um, even if, you know, sort of playing online and just getting wrecked by jets and helicopters, that was sort of annoying. Um, but I mean, that's just part of the game. That's how Battlef Battlefield's always been. It, it rewards skill as opposed to COD. Um, I, I'm trying not to shit on COD, obviously. But um, I think it is going to be outshined quite heavily by Battlefront this year. Anyway, I should uh, I should stop talking about other games so much. You're gonna need more Baratheon, aren't you? I don't know how much we have left. That's ah, oh, that's another thing, another um, irk I suppose I have with this game is all those extra random resources that you can get, such as the Baratheon and those little alien pet things. I mean, sure, okay, they show up here, but. I don't want to have to actually individually count what I have and what I don't have. Because, like, fuck that. It, it should be, you know, part of the design. It should be 
available for you to see it. Anyway, I'll, I'll try to stop talking shit about this game. It looks like our fleets have finished up here. So we will get them all into one area and you should see if we look at other people's strengths. Yeah, we're, we're quite a bit stronger than them at the moment. Um, granted, these guys aren't doing too badly, but... Oh, one thing that actually that we do need to do... Um, we are starting to lose energy now, but it's fine because we've got um, an absolute fuck ton stored up, so that should be absolutely fine. Okay, fleets are done. Thank God. We can actually talk about the game and not go on stupid rants on about other things, so... We'll keep him over the past year. Every time I say past year, I'm not, I'm not, it might just be me. Um, but I, I could swear I'm saying pasta. It sounds sort of similar, but I didn't get why. It's just one of those like speech things that I've like seen, noticed about myself. It, I mean, it could be with other people as well. I, I don't actually know, but yeah, anyway, really, uh, not stupid comments. There's nothing wrong with thinking, but it's kind of a dumb thought. <laughs> okay, let's get all these fleets together. Uh, we've got a wormhole station there. We will need to build more because depending on who we attack, we, I mean, we could even attack these guys. Construction complete. Um, their technology is actually superior. Maybe we do want to kill them before they out-tech us. Uh, we could do that. Um, yeah, we, we could do that. Uh, they do have a lot of energy in their systems. Um, oh my god. Oh my god, research that. This, this system's got 13 energy. Uh, like, I don't think that actually includes... Yeah, it doesn't include buildings on your planet. It's just got a base of 13 energy. Holy shit. That's impressive. That is genuinely really impressive. Well, let's go take out these guys. Um, that's oh, you're building all that stuff. Okay, you are going to build me a construction ship because I don't want to wait around too much longer because that will make for boring gameplay. These guys are all done and together. Bunch them up. What's their strength at? About three thousand. Yeah, three thousand. So that's pretty strong. Uh, at this point in the game, it's good. I mean, I'm just. It's good, yeah, simple as that. Um, construction, I'm going to put the speed up just because I'm, I'm not a, a slow player by any mean. The only reason I've kept it on normal speed at the moment is because I've been talking so much and not really focusing on the game. Uh, special project. Um, you do that. Okay, we'll get someone else to do that in a minute. Um, we could go like... I mean, I'm not, as I said, probably in one of my early episodes, I'm not a, um, I'm not a min-maxi kind of player. I, I get too lazy for it, and I don't find it enjoyable spending so long doing such minute things. I'd, ra I'd rather have the sectors, even granted they probably won't do much, I'd rather just have them just do whatever. Um, let's just create another sector, because... We probably are losing a fair bit of credits because of that. The fact that we do have uh, over our planet limit. So let's just go create a shitty new sector. Yes, these guys. Let's add random systems that don't mean anything to me. That does mean something to me. You can have that. You can have like all the most useless systems. And that. Okay. There you go. Um, That helped with our... Um, energy a little bit. Um, another quirk, this selection system, it was cool at first, but it's ultimately really pointless. Colony ship. Where was I going to put it? Oh, minute star, yep. See, there's there's no downside for having the um, election promises unfulfilled. Very much like real life politics, I suppose. Um, where politicians will say a bunch of shit, not get it done, and people will just go, oh well. You know, that's probably too political. I'd, I'd rather not get political with my videos, mostly because I don't actually know what I'm talking about. Oh, you died quick. <laughs> um, <coughs> yeah, like all this stuff, it just gives us influence, which 
I mean, it's it's good in this game. It, it has it, it it has its uses, obviously. But if you don't have it, then you're not gonna die. So, oh well. Um, we can attack these guys. Equivalent naval capacity is inferior, so we could build up a bit more of a navy here. But uh, we do have a rivalry with them. I mean, let's just kill them. Uh, we'll just vassalize them because I, it's so much easier having to take each individual planet if we actually want to take them. No one wants to spend that long. It's so much easier just to get 60 war score and then we'll just like do it all later. Simple as that. Um, looks like we can... No, I don't want to rename it. I guess we just go to that system for now. I don't know what type... One thing that... Another thing that I would like is... There's a better way to see, um, like what kind of FTL they have. I mean, granted you can see it when you're in the same system as them, but you'd much prefer to not during the war, maybe you could prepare yourself a bit better. I mean, I, I doubt it would be any kind of in technology or anything like that because, I mean, it's space, you, you'd see it and all that. Let's go blow up that spaceport. We'll keep an eye out for their armies. You're finished constructing stuff um it should be fine we'll go blow them up we're using missiles in this aren't we yep you will die so we still have was it 16 corvettes yeah that's not bad uh, i don't even remember what our oh there we go 2000 of them right there so we should be able to take him out before they uh, able to defend this station and yeah we should absolutely destroy them they've got a lot of corvettes which could actually be a problem for us um you know allowed oh we can allow another you know right of course um what's good what's good let's just go for that i mean i don't care for the engineering bays and all that uh the army could beat us uh let's go look at one of their ships so there's one of their destroyers, so they've got missiles as well, they do use the lasers, they've got shields. Um, they got better warp drives than us, which we probably could get, I'm not sure what our technology is currently at. But um, oh our leader died, let's go get, in general, evasion 15%, that's pretty good. I definitely will use him. We'll go take out their fleet, because I imagine that's all of their fleet. It says we, it said we were about equivalent. Um, yeah, we're gonna take him out. Looks like a lot of them are damaged already. Are they in a war with other people? Oh, right, this means they're at war with people. So these guys? Who are you? Are these guys behind it? Okay, so there we go. So we actually declared war on a good time. Sectors missing resources. Um, just. Take some of mine, man. Um, you, you're missing that. Okay, there you go. Problem solved. Okay, where are we? Back to the battle. Back to the really interesting thing about this game. I mean, it's okay, like, you, you can't actually see what's going on in this. Um, in EU4, like, you had all your combat modifiers and whatnot, and you can really plan that out properly, but... Like, what the hell is going on? People are just shooting lasers and shit, and missiles are flying around. You can't tell the ships apart. Um, one game that I should definitely should look at, at the very least, is, um, if I can remember it, um, Master of Orion. I never played the original ones, but I did see Cool play it, and it looked like a lot of fun. I don't know if we're going to win this, because they do have a lot more ships. Um... So they are technically firing quicker, to an extent. Um, I mean, we should win. Maybe. Oh, I actually don't know if we will. Hmm. How about that? I think we might actually lose. Well, see, there you go. That's, um, that's part of this game. I mean, that was all my own laziness. We probably can upgrade our ships and whatnot, but... Now we have to build up another army. Ugh, this is going to be frustrating to do. It's completely my own fault. Laziness, really. Um, I could have built up a lot more of a fleet before I jumped into this war, but 
I did not because of my laziness. And we're out of minerals. Okay. Um, yeah, we're not going to win, so let's just retreat. Situation log update. Uh, where are we back here? Is this, oh, there's one of the sectors. Oh, I don't want to be here. Let's just go back to the pasture. And heal off there. Skype is... That's my bad. That's going to be in the recording. Uh, let me quickly put that on D&D so it doesn't pop up again. I always forget to do it. Uh, I think it only happened in one of my other videos where someone called the Skype call. Um, so yeah, sorry about that. I know it's loud and annoying. Believe me, I know. I really should get something other than Skype, but my friends are insistent on using it because they've used it for so long. It's ridiculous because it, it sucks. I would so much prefer getting Discord or TeamSpeak or something, but we've used Skype for so long at this point, it's no one wants to change it. Except for just riot. Okay, they destroyed something. Was that? How many bloody riots were there? Holy crap. What 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 planet are they? Independent Milano sector. This whole sector? Which one's the Milano sector? I don't know, I haven't renamed them in this one. This one. They want all of this to be independent? Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was saying how the factions weren't important, but... I guess there's that. Uh, where is factions? Here. Let's just go... Five the leaders. There you go. Uh, they're in this system of ours. Yeah, we'll just send them all to here, maybe. These guys, these guys aren't even healed up yet. And this place... Oh, you only just built up your colony. Build a space station. Where are they porting to now? Soval? Uh... They're going to Golba. What? And they're going to this system. Why did I say they're going to the Golba system? I'm so confused by this game sometimes. Anyway, um... Alright, uh, I think it's about the 20 minute mark for this episode anyway. I'm trying to keep the video shorter because I know half an hour is probably a bit too long for the episodes. And it makes it easier for me to upload them. Um, so yeah, I'll end the video here. Next episode, we'll, we'll clean up this wall. I'll do it properly and focus on it and etc, etc. Get it finished off. Because we can, we can easily win this. These guys should be no problem. Um, so yeah, we'll finish that up and then... Yeah, that'll be that, and then we'll just keep genociding from there. Anyway, so if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you must, but for now, that's all.